see, the years that I went through, see, I was in Nashville, I was 17, 17 or 8, no, 16, 16 or 17, anyway, I was living in an apartment at the time, I was living there, living at this apartment, and then I was there, and then I went from that apartment to my buddy's house, who lived on Pond Creek, who lived on Pond Creek Road, and whoever, I don't know if he still lives there, I don't know, but um, he's a really cool friend of mine, he used to live there on Pond Creek, and then he moved to Kentucky, and then ever since then, he's been there ever since. Well, I from there, I went back to the apartment that I was at in, uh, on the, I think it was in Nashville, or was it in Mephil? Yeah, it was in Nashville. I was there, right when that happened, I was there, because there's a lake, there's like a lake, before I came back. Then I went from there, then in 2017 or 18, I believe, I was, I was working as a janitor, I was still, uh, yeah, I was there, and I went from, from Nashville, went to, came back here, had my own place, um, but anyway, I'm gonna get into this, on 24th, okay, you know where that little bridge is on 24th or whatever, on Tuxedo, you walk underneath that bridge, you'll spray paint, um, spray paint your all's names, so I know who to look for, and I'll tag you all guys on, on Instagram, because that bridge is so, so unique to me, because that's where also part of the creek or tree, okay, you guys know where the creek or tree is? Okay, okay, that tree, that's the first part of the creek or tree. The second part, we call it the Creeker, the Creeker Bridge. Instead of, there's the Creeker Tree and there's the Creeker Bridge. So, where the Creeker Bridge is where couples spray paint their names the year they're, they've been dating. And there's, I mean, oh hell, there, there's a bunch of it. Um, there's all tons of it. Uh, shit. I, I used to go party down there. I used to go down there. But don't go down there at night. Because you, you'll hear some weird shit. Like I'm not kidding. That I mean there's some shit down there that I've known about. That nobody wants to know. And I, 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 I've. I I've been. You know. I'll go underneath the tuxedo. And chill under there. Hang out. Whatever. Um, let's see. There's also. Here in Pueblo, there's, um, if you go out in the fields, up uh, on high, on Highway 50, up on the other side, where they pass those train tracks out in the middle of nowhere, there's a little spot area where, uh, me and my buddy one night, we, um, we went to, I don't want to, I mean, don't expose this information, do not tell anybody, I'm telling you this information now. I'm not even supposed to be exposing this, but I'm just exposing it anyway. Um, a friend of mine, me and a buddy of mine, uh, J, uh, Justin, Kendro, he, um, he and I, me and my buddy Justin, Kendro, we would walk at night, and one night we found guns, like, not kidding, we found those, I'm not even exposed to this shit, this is like, we found this, and a couple of my buddies, we kind of went out there, we were just exploring, we are like, um, 18, 17, more or less, and we were just having a grand old good time, and then that's when we found that kind of shit, and we were like, whoa, what, so, um, and then, uh, then what else, what else did we do, then we would go to, right under the train tracks, we would sit for a bit, because we didn't want any, we didn't anybody, we didn't want anybody to get caught, well, my friend of mine, my friend of mine's girlfriend, spray painted the, um, right under there, spray painted the, yeah, spray painted something stupid, 
that's still there to this day, I think, and so, yeah, and then, oh, we had some really fun, fun times, I mean, since we all found out what, what happened to Justin Kenro, I felt really bad, I was close to him, I was really, really close to him, and I didn't find out until, until like a couple days ago, um, it hit me pretty hard, so, you know, he and I, like, it was, it was crazy, it was actually yesterday, yesterday morning, it was pretty messed up, but, um, I'll, I'll always go to the, the spots, and, I mean, it, it, it's cool, I mean, I, I will never ever forget what the things, what were done, we, um, oh, we would, me and buddies of mine, we would go into different spots, and we would get, we would find some, we would find some spots, and find different places, and we, that's what, that's what I like to do, is, and explore, and find different spots, and just to sit and chill, and yes, I kind of accidental went back to what I was doing, but um, it it sh it was hard. Justin Kenro was like, whew. he he was cool, because he and I went through so much together growing up, growing over the years. I remember that one time, um, one time that, uh, he and I, we would go, we would, we would go fishing, we'd go night crawlers, like, I'm not kidding, we'd go night crawlers, we'd go up the lake, um, at, um, the fucking lake, whatever, we'd go up the lake, and we'd go fish, would you know, we'd bullshit, whatever, now it's like, I don't even, you know, I don't even care for it anymore. Where, you know, it's just like, I'm dealing with a lot in, in, you know, in my perspective. It's hard to, you know, to let go some of the funnest memories that I've ever had as, you know, as a good friend of mine that I've known for a long, long time. And I always sit and remember the good times and remember the bad times i was oh i'll always be part of you know even though justin kenro and his fiance i mean it's just hard i i can imagine what she's going through and i can imagine because i've been there i've, I've been there I try to best support them as best as I can, the family, the friend, you know, her friends. It it was it was crazy because I went to elementary school with Justin with Justin Kenro. I went to elementary school with him, middle school, both high schools. And so it was kind of like you know, it was not that easy. I've seen things. I, you know, it's just it's just my thing, man. I always be part of his life, and it it's been kind of rough on my end, and I will never ever forget to where. You know, it it was. It's just like. He, well, he wanted to talk, because, like, I went to ROTC with him, and, and, so, you know, he, um, he wanted to talk about going into the military and stuff, and, and, you know, now, since he's gone, and, I, I just, I, I feel bad, because, best friend of mine that I've known for such, you know, a long, long time, a long time that I've I've known I've known him for years and it's like god damn you know 
But I hope everybody has a good day. And uh, I'm going to head to the Creek or Tree sometime this week or next week. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to go. But I know I might go to underneath the uh, Creeker Bridge. And that's where... Uh, see, okay, let me explain the Creeker Tree. I mean, the Creeker Bridge. That is an underpass where a lot of people make out at. And, yeah, if you want to ditch high school, if you wanted to go ditch with your, girl, with your, uh, with your girlfriend or whatever... And if you want to go make out with your girlfriend, that's where to go. It's the Creeker, the uh, Creeker Bridge, which is right underneath. And yeah. So, yeah, that's a little funny story there. Um, it's just you know I feel bad for on on multiple ends on the situation, but we'll see how it goes. But I hope you all have a good night. And, uh, yeah.